The Lagos State Governor has set up a five-month panel of inquiry to investigate the cause of the collapse of the 21-story building that caved in in Ikoi. The panel is made up of all private sector professionals. They will also make recommendations. So for us to get to the, to the real um, um, issue of what had happened, I've set up a high-powered com um, um, commission of inquiry. Um, it's it's um, a strong professional um, investigative panel that are consisting of everybody from outside of government. It's a five member with one secretary that is also external, and they've been given you know, a clear terms of reference. Right Later today, I will be meeting with some of them and will identify where they're going to work from, and we're going to give them a 30-day assignment for them to wrap up and tell us, indeed, you know, professionally, what had gone wrong here, and who are the corporates, and what do we need to do. I have town planner Tayo Ainde, will chair. He's the current president of the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners of Nigeria. I have Dr. Akintilo Idris Adeleke. He's one of the foremost structural engineers in the country. He's the best in class as a structural engineer. I have architect Yinka Ubundairo. He's a partner with one of the leading architectural firms in the country. They have done several, several, several developments like this. I have builder Godfrey O. Godfrey. He's also been um, 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 identified as one of the foremost builders in the country and was recommended by the Nigerian Institute of Builders. And I have Mrs. Bumi Ibrahim. Um, she's a lawyer and she's also um, um, a property player who understands and knows from a legal perspective what should be the remits you know, of um, government and also a developer of, of this magnitude. Um, to be the secretary of, 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 of this panel, it's a gentleman called Mr. Ekundayo Onojobi, who is also a lawyer and works with a, with a private law firm. Governor Samolu also announced a website where missing persons can be reported. Um, what we've seen in the last 48 hours is that we do not have the manifest of everybody that was on site, um, which is if a... a um, 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 what, what, what's called now, which is um, against the law. You know, on a daily basis, you are meant to have a manifest of everybody that is working in a construction. So there is no manifest, right? And unfortunately, too, it's also been very difficult for us to, to identify or for anybody to come forward as maybe a project manager or a staff of the developer and the contractor. So we have a desk that, that has been set up here where we want family members um, like I said, we do not have a manifest. So anybody that is uh, missing, that you think you must have assumed that maybe came here to work or is a worker here, you will take down the name of the person. If you have a photograph of the person, it will be very, very useful. And there's also been a website that has also been designed, you know, for this, which is help um, at lagosmind.org. You know, and once good on it, on, 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 it, on, on the desk, they can give you to. Um, so, so for missing person web form is lagosmind.org slash help. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.